I was there for about two and a half hours of the Walmart in Macon. When I tell you they had to have loaded five bins into the truck while I was there. I mean, they couldn't have the bin empty for long enough, which is really phenomenal. So thank you again. We can't say it enough for all of you who helped out on that day. It really is helping families in need just in time for the holidays, which of course, holiday number one, Thanksgiving just two days away. And now that our cold front is out of the way, it's going to be cold for Thanksgiving. In fact, several degrees below average, especially for that morning temperature. So the overnight low temperature high pressure now in control. That is going to give us a lot of sunshine though over the next couple of days. So enjoy that now with high pressure starting to battle that lower area of pressure that's along that cold front. It is still a little bit on the breezy side this morning. Not quite as windy as it was yesterday though, but just enough to make it feel colder. 37 in the city of Dublin. It looks like here in Dublin, not half bad, but some spots are feeling more like the upper 20s this morning and a lot of us feeling like the low 30s. Either way, surface temperature feels like temperature you need to bundle up this morning. 36 in Macon and in Warner Robins, 37 in Montezuma, 34 in Forsyth, 39 in Milledgeville and 39 in McCray to get the day going. Here's a look at the wind anywhere between 5 to 7 miles per hour that will continue to calm down as we go through the day. So like I said, it's feeling more like the upper 20s and low 30s in a lot of spots. 28 in Thomaston feeling like 30 in Macon and feeling like 31 in Warner Robins. We'll stay in the 30s through about 9, 10 o'clock today. It's going to take a little while to warm up, and we're really not going to be warm today. Temperatures will climb. I think we're going to be in the mid 50s for the afternoon. As we head through the overnight into tomorrow morning, that cold air really settles in, and we're going to wake up near 30 degrees tomorrow. Some of us maybe even in the upper 20s. As we head into Wednesday afternoon, we'll be a little bit warmer, so tomorrow afternoon we'll start colder, but we'll end up warmer. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow. As we head into the morning for Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving will wake up in the low 30s, so it's going to be quite cold, which might actually be nice for all of you starting very early to cook. You know, it gets a little warm in the kitchen. All you have to do is open the window to get some relief from that. Highs only in the low 60s. To put that in perspective, we should be in the mid 60s for Thanksgiving Day. Around 66 is the average high, so we won't be, be too far off from that. Another front comes on Friday, could offer us a small rain chance early Friday morning, and that leaves us with another cold weekend. Mid to upper 50s with cold mornings the next couple of days. Wake up in the low 30s for Thanksgiving with highs in the low 60s. Overall, a nice looking holiday. Small rain chance Friday, and that's going to leave us cold and dry Saturday through Monday.